It's our last episode of our first series of Let's Explore, a series in which we have been exploring the science of pressure. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as we've enjoyed making it. Of course, every great show needs a great finale. And with that in mind, I thought we should go out with a bang. In fact, how about two bangs? An implosion as well as an explosion. During this series, I've shown you a whole stack of stuff that you can easily try out at home. However, in this episode, I'll be showing you a couple of things that you should definitely not try out at home. With that in mind, let's explore. Implode, to collapse or cause to collapse violently inwards. In the bottom of this can is a little water. First things first, we need to get that water boiling. Now when water boils, it turns from a liquid into a gas, into water vapour or steam. Water vapour takes up a lot more room than liquid water, around 1600 times as much room. As our water boils inside the can, it expands into water vapour, pushing out pretty much all of the air. This might take a few moments. And we're boiling. Now we just need to seal the can like so and cool things down. But just before we do that, as you've probably noticed, I'm using an empty fuel container for this demonstration. Now this is a clean, brand new, never been used can. Safety first, people. And boom, the can implodes. As the water vapour inside the can cools down, it condenses, turning back into liquid water. This leaves a great big empty space inside the can, a partial vacuum, which is at a much lower pressure than the atmospheric pressure on the outside. So this higher pressure air pushes in with enormous force and the can is suddenly crushed. It implodes. Explode. To burst or shatter violently and noisily as a result of rapid combustion, excessive internal pressure or other process. We've imploded a can, so now it's time to explode one. But before we get to that, here we have a little blob of corn flour. Now if I try to burn this little blob, well, the uh, corn flour chars a little but it doesn't exactly burn. However, if we spread that corn flour out, then <laughs> Fire is a combustion chemical reaction. There are three things we need for this kind of reaction, fuel, oxygen, and heat. The oxygen we need comes from the air around us. Approximately 21% of the atmosphere is in fact oxygen. When we try to burn our blob of corn flour, it doesn't catch a light, and that's because there's not enough oxygen in contact with the corn flour. However, when we spread the corn flour out, oxygen can get in and around the particles. That is, we increase the surface area of corn flour in contact with the oxygen, and it burns. Now, if we contain that combustion in a can, well, we're about to discover the consequences. Attached to the inside wall of this can is a little ledge to which I've added some corn flour. Also inside the can is a candle. I'm just going to light that candle, put on some safety goggles, and then put our lid on the can. Next, blow through the tube. <laughs> and as I blow through the tube, I puff up the corn flour creating a cloud. The corn flour burns and things heat up inside the can. 
gases expand and suddenly the pressure on the inside pushing out will be greater than the atmospheric pressure on the outside pushing in and the lid will explode off with a fireball in hot pursuit. Lots of materials burn when turned into a dust, like grain and sugar and coffee and pollen and even some metals. Around the world, dust clouds are an all too common cause of accidental explosions in mines and factories and grain silos and all sorts of other situations where dust is generated. Fortunately, there are lots of ways to prevent these kinds of explosions. Can you think of any ways that this kind of explosion could be prevented? And so that brings us to the end of our first series of Let's Explore. I hope you've enjoyed our look at pressure and all the accompanying splishes and splashes and implosions and explosions and other fun goings on. We'll be throwing ourselves at a new topic very soon. So until then, thanks for joining the gang. That science gang. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel, plus visit our website and social media sites for more information and activities.